Yep. Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Clay Parker with uh, Blasters Incorporated, and uh, we brought our uh, fantastic Ready Jet with us this morning to demo for you. Anyway, for the hundreds of you in attendance and the thousands of you watching at home, ladies and gentlemen, from the Convention Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, we'd like to present to you our heavyweight matchup. <laughs> On my right, weighing in at 44,500 pounds, ready mixed. Yeah! And on my left, weighing in at 14,500 pounds, ready jet. Yeah! So, let's get ready to rumble! Hope everybody's uh, feeling a little pumped up now, a little rocky music, a uh, little, uh, little let's get it on going on. So we want to uh, thank the WJTA for putting on the event. I want to thank uh, Carlo Ditta Concrete for bringing in some uh, Cajun concrete for us. 
Uh, you know, I'm basically looking out to you all. I think everybody's looking for something a little different uh, in the industry. Uh, this is something new. Uh, there's minimal competition out there uh, for the ReadyJet, and uh, it's a proven product to an age-old an age-old problem. Uh, there's only one way to do it uh, right now compared to the ReadyJet, and that's put a man in there with a jackhammer uh, manually. So. You know, it's, it's been going on for 100 years. It seems to me that it's, you know, it's, it's barbaric and archaic, you know, rolling into almost 2018 to still be putting a man inside that drum. Uh, talk to a few out here today that have been in the ready mix drums chipping. It's a pretty nasty job. I've been in about 300 of them myself and uh, not a place a man should be uh, with all the technology that's out there. This is right uh, hand in hand with what's going on with the industry, the water jetting industry as far as hands free and automation. So basically what you're looking at is the ready jet. Uh, it's, uh, it's utilizing 350 horsepower at 20,000 PSI. It's a routine maintenance cleaning tool. So basically what you'd want to do is have an annual contract with a ready mix producer. There's 80,000 ready mix trucks here in the U.S. Uh, alone. Uh, there's also, uh, those trucks are having to be cleaned uh, every, every, every month at a minimum. So you have a, a producer with 500 trucks. You know, you clean them four to six times a year depending on what their frequency of delivery is and, uh, you know, what their needs are to keep that concrete uh, mix quality up and, and the truck with a proper throughput uh, available. Uh, it's complete non-entry. Uh, basically, you can operate it from the, from the top like Rob was just doing. Uh, it's a wireless remote control system, so he can operate it uh, down on the ground. Uh, we're, we're operating the ReadyJet in 26 countries and six continents, and we've cleaned hundreds of thousands of drums. Uh, we have 18 worldwide patents. And the product's the safest and the most effective uh, means of drum, drum cleaning, dead concrete removal in the world. Everything, as we all know, is all about timing. And that's, that's kind of why we brought the, brought the ReadyJet out here to the, to the WJTA live demos. It's all about timing. So one of the things that's happening here in the U.S. is it's a perfect storm. And what I mean by that is, is OSHA and NIOSH have dropped the perm permissible exposure limits of the amount of silica, uh, silica dust that a man can breathe in uh, over, over an eight-hour period by 50%. So it's making it more difficult for the chippers to go in the drum, and it's also driving their price up. The other thing that's happening is President Trump in office now is cracking down on immigration laws, and most of the chipping companies, are, are uh, their employees are predominantly uh, illegals. So what's happening to a ready mix company is they can't get the chippers to come in and clean their drums. They can't deliver well mixed concrete and it drops their throughput. If they're hauling around two or three cubic yards in a 10 cubic yard truck, they obviously can't deliver 10 cubic yards. So they're losing money every day. Uh, beyond that, there's an uptick in the economy. You know, residential, commercial, infrastructure, industrial construction, uh, it's thriving. Construction's thriving. So back in the day when we first started with this in 2008, it was really a, it was a push thing. We were really pushing it on customers. Now it's a pull. So if you go to a local ready mix company and tell them you have the ready jet and what it's all about, they're going to be real interested in talking to you. So you're going to, you know, it's not all about the money. The ready jet's competitive as it, as it uh, pertains to cost for dry manual chipping, but uh, it's definitely something where they're pulling you and they want to see you. Uh, as, you know, the other thing is, is concrete. It's a number one building material in the world. It's sustainable for each, our life, each of our lifetimes. There's nothing on the horizon right now that's going to replace that of, of concrete. So I think we're in a good place. Uh, in addition to that, you know, what's happening to us is, w is we keep getting calls. You know, the calls come in, Blasters Incorporated, they come into ReadyJet. People are looking, you know, do you have somebody in Kalamaz Kalamazoo, Michigan that can clean a drum? Do you have somebody in Sacramento, California? Do you have somebody in San Antonio, Texas? You know, or wherever you may be, in Mobile, Alabama. At the end of the day, this is a tremendous opportunity for companies just like you all to get involved with the ReadyJet. You know, we, we, uh, we're real excited about it. Be a pioneer, be a leader, and it'll work out because they're, they're pulling. They're looking for a solution. We've got to get the man out of the drum. 
just a couple quick facts about the uh, about the ready jet again it's it's a routine maintenance tool we're cleaning about four to six times a year if you're on a uh, freeway project uh, with some high performance concrete they may be in there cleaning that cleaning that uh, drum every month you know the DOT inspectors checked in the mix quality it's important there's no CDL requirement on the ready jet you can haul the ready jet uh, with a non CDL driver just with a log book and a DOT physical it's under 25999 regular driver's license gets it done. It's a reoccurring revenue stream. That's what you all are used to as industrial cleaning contractors. You know, you're in there working in these plants week in and week out uh, in the, in a, with a contract, and it'd be the same thing with a ready mix company. You're doing the same thing. It's an annual contract. You're in there working every week. Uh, the, the ready mix producers, again, are in, a, in pursuit of a solution, uh, and we are the solution, ReadyJet. Also, it can be used as a water blaster, 10K water blaster, 15K, 20K, 40K. Your utilization should be good as a ReadyJet, utilizing it as a ReadyJet, but if you wanted to use it in some high peaks for water blasting, you could do that as well. Uh, it's all about timing. Again, it's a perfect storm. The time is now. Look into ReadyJet and uh, look into it now. You'll, you, won't, uh, you won't be remiss. It'll be a good thing. Thank you all for having me. I think you just wrapped it up, though. You just said everything I was going to say. Okay. So sure. we, yeah, and you can't just ask the kind of All right. I'm just going to do a real quick recap on what Scott was talking about. This pertains to the ReadyMix plants. This is the safest method of ReadyMix truck uh, cleaning in the world. What this does is it, it mitigates the confined space entry, which to a ready mix producer or plant, that liability has been reduced 99% by getting the man out of the drum. We also talked about increasing the mix quality for the ready mix plant. They're, they're concerned about the quality being delivered, the load being delivered to the site. A ready mix clean truck improves the quality of the mix. The, um, taking the, uh, the man out of the drum, by re reducing the, the reduction of injury, we're increasing their margins and their bottom line. So looking at this business, we'd ask you to come by our booth 323 and visit us to talk a little bit about the Ready Mix plant. We have a Keith Knox here. He was with the largest chipper, premier chipper in the late 80s, had over 19,000 trucks in contract. So if you want to compare and contrast the Ready Jet to the traditional method, we'd love to have you come by the booth.